Today, we have a new battery from Bouge RV. Let's open it up. We have our user's manual. All right, and there's the battery. So this is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I think this is a group 24 size. Yeah, it says here on their website, this is a group 24 lithium iron phosphate battery. And the manual says you can put four in series and you can connect four in parallel. And the standard charge current is 20 amps, uh, 0.2 C recommended charge current. The maximum charge is 100 amp. The maximum continuous charge is 100 amps. The maximum continuous discharge is 100 amps. And the maximum discharge current is 330 amps for 2.5 seconds. All right, so let's get a weight on this guy. And we are at 22.8 pounds. Let's go ahead and charge this guy up. All right, you guys, the battery's all charged up now. I have it connected to my shunt, so now we're gonna do a capacity test. I've set my shunt to 100 amp hours. So let's go ahead and turn on the inverter. And then we'll turn on the air conditioner because that's gonna be our load. We are currently pulling some power, a little over 300 watts right now. Uh, so we'll just let that continue on and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, so we're down to 1%, pulling about 330 watts right now. We've got 1.3 amp hours left to go. Our voltage is 11.9. All right, so our shunt says zero. Uh, we still have about 0.8 amp hours left to go. So there's still a little bit in there. All right, here we go. We got 0.02. And there we go. We have discharged a full 100 amp hours. Uh, so this battery lives up to its rating of 100 amp hours it has passed all right guys now it's everybody's favorite time let's open this bad boy up all right so that got it all loosened up let's take a look so we've got our bms up here at the top it says 100 amp this actually looks like a JBD and it has a UART connection right here. So we got we got seven gauge silicon jacketed wire on the negative and seven gauge silicon jacketed 200 Celsius wire on the positive. Let's see, I do think I see prismatic cells down there. Yeah. And we have thermal sensor right here, I believe. Yeah. So, can I get these out? That is the question. <clears throat> no, I can't. <laughs> And the reason why I can't is because I can see down here at the very bottom, it's potted. Um, so there's like a rubber kind of filler in there. And so this part of the cells are going to be stuck down in that. And it's going to be real difficult. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. But we can check to see if we've got low temperature protection because the sensor is right here and we can try that 
I suspect it does since I believe this to be uh, JBD this seems like it's a JBD BMS okay so we are charging right now at 43 amps let's see if we can hit this thermal sensor here with some duster yep and it does work so we stopped charging all right guys so i think that's going to wrap up the video let me know what you think about this battery as always i'll leave links in the description and i'll catch you in the next one